Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm gonna start off with the dollar here. Finally ran into resistance on the dollar and it turned around pretty heavy. Uh, this is a daily chart. <clears throat> you can see on the longer term where the EMA 8 has stopped it out. Um, look out below uh, 93 as um, it could potentially break the previous low at 92. Um, <clears throat> on shorter terms though it still has a little bit of support on say five hour uh, but it definitely put it in a double top it could uh, might as well bounce and um, hang in there for a little while uh, 34 support is at 93.50. Um, so it looks quite a bit different than the daily, as the daily got pushed back pretty hard. But um, you can see the bearish retracement on the 60 minute, and then it just fell apart. We are working from a double bottom here, uh, bounce. Uh, it has run into uh, resistance again, previous lows on the EMA 8, putting in a double top so far on this hour. So we'll see what happens <clears throat> monthly so far this month. Plenty of support at 90. Uh, still working green candle on the monthly. Um, But uh, as you can see on the daily and um, shorter terms, it's it's running into resistance. Um, so we've got a couple weeks left. See how this month ends. But uh, watch out for previous low breaks at 93. Could uh, follow that wick all the way down to 92, no problem. But right now we got support on the five hour. Other than that, um, it looks pretty weak, especially on the daily, how it got knocked back like that. But um, it could try again across the 34s, no doubt. And it's right there at support, closing below, but uh, nothing is uh, exact. So it could be, um, could be at right at support, which is the previous lows. Uh, could definitely definitely break down. It, it did get pushed back pretty pretty hard on the dollar. S and P five hour chart it, uh, fell into some trouble um, after its its push, but um, on a five hour this is a bullish retracement. So we'll see what happens if this can hold. Uh, this is uh, reverse head and shoulders flat top break here and uh, bullish retracement which happened pretty quick and bullish retracements that happen that quick are usually uh, good bouncers but uh, not much of a bounce so far uh, pretty long wick there or a uh, pretty long body bearish body um, it's stuck at the flat top break where it broke out. So we're right at support on the five hour on S&P, even though we had a pretty bad day. Um, so far for the week, we're um, bouncing off that eight still. So we made another run, got knocked back, uh, making a uh, higher low on a weekly following that line so far so good that eight follow the eight up as your support um, the Dow uh, looks like a, a a bearish candle put in breaking previous lows um, gapping down and 
closing well below the previous 50% rule, closing below the 8, 13. Uh, look for previous low breaks on the downside. Um, but it's still holding its own, I believe, on the weekly above that 8. So nothing to really report uh, differently. It has to break down uh, below that lower high, below that 8. Um, it's just hanging in there. Quite volatile the past couple days, that's for sure. Up and down, up and down. But um, looks pretty top-heavy to me. I mean, this whole thing looks top-heavy. It should have fell apart a long time ago, I, I thought. Um, that's pretty top heavy. But we'll see what happens. Uh, still got a couple days left in the week. See how we close out the week uh, right now. But initially, uh, we're bearish. And there's a five hour chart. Look for previous low breaks into support. Um, I believe I can still use this line here, but I don't know how accurate that is being that I drew it on a weekly. We got support. Almost there. Just another 100 points down. Closing below the 8 um, is our support. Between the 8 and 13 is the uh, lower highs. We want to get underneath that to make this thing bearish again. Make this as a... Uh, a whipsaw but uh, right now it's hanging on it's hanging on by a thread uh, right above support uh, real quick the Nasdaq uh, it did break down but now it's uh, bearish retracing and it backed off so for the for the week we're still green on this thing but um, that is a bearish retracement um, as it broke down, crossed the 34, bounced, came back up to resistance, and got knocked back. So, see how the week ends, but to right now, uh, pretty, I had a pretty bad day. Here's the five hour, and five hour again could be construed as a reverse head and shoulders, pop, flat top break, pop, and a bullish retracement. So I have to keep an eye on that. Um, see if it can hold. What is that? 30, 4340, 4340 about. Crude um, up for the week. Uh, looks like a flat top break is coming. Um, bouncing right off that eight. Uh, near, a near miss, actually. Uh, so it's breaking into previous lows, or it bounced off the previous lows, breaking into previous highs here. See if we can get up to uh, 50 as the next stop, flat top break. Uh, ultimately, I think this thing can reach 60, no problem, as it reached previous highs. So we'll see what happens with uh, oil, but. Um, that is a um, double bottom breaking across uh, bullish retracement and now we're at the flat top break actually a flat top break was down here but um, it has consolidated for a week and then now it's ready to pop again so another flat top break after the initial breakout which is about 40 41 25 so pretty nice to watch if um, you want to pay attention. Uh, just a, a flat top break coming. Looks pretty bullish on a weekly chart. Uh, moving on to gold, uh, pretty nice. Um, here's a, an, another one of those A, B bottoms. Um, got smacked back on the 30, the initial run back to the 34 after the breakdown. Got an AB bottom, broke previous highs, 
ran to the 34, got slapped back, and wants to move higher. Looks like we just opened on a new candle for the day. So we'll see uh, for the rest of the night, see if this can, can uh, move forward, or is it going to make a higher low, which would be appropriate for a bullish move. But um, ultimately, I think right off the bat, if it keeps going in the direction it wants to, it's going to make a a bump into that trend line. If we can get above the 34, bump that trend line, and consolidate in this area, um, could be consolidating into an, another move here shortly in the future. But uh, we have to get into uh, positive territory. Um, okay, um, f so anyways, for the rest of the evening, I'll probably watch the 15 minute um, action. Here's the flat top break coming. Be pretty nice. Uh, 1280 would be a prime close for the morning. Get up there. Another 10. That's another two, two, three dollars above. That would be pretty nice to see. 1280 is a, a previous breakout point, so definitely want to get above there. Uh, for the week, we still got a. Um, A nice bounce all the way back up uh, for the week. Pretty nice show. Right when it was supposed to bounce, it bounced and it bounced hard. Uh, closing the week above 1280 would be just awesome. Um, but these, that's a pretty nice bullish uh, bounce. Um, Let's see here, 60 minute. Yeah, I'm going to be watching the 15 minute. Let's see if we can get more action out of this. You can see on the 15 minute, <clears throat> um, just a, a tiny uh, reverse head and shoulders, um, bullish retracement, flat top break, flat top break. Let's see if we can get up here. Looks pretty healthy, um, but for the long term right now, um, these long wicks, kind of hard to tell which way it's going to go until we get a closing for the week. Uh, but right now it looks like it knocking out a bottom, uh, a bullish hammer um, so far. Looks pretty nice. Nice bounce. Silver, same thing. Um, and a nice run. Uh, let's take out these things. I figured uh, what I was thinking with these lines, actually, uh, what I was thinking it was going to hit these lines and get pushed back. Uh, but it, it went all the way through, came back to the uh, support, and it wants to go higher. So even better. Uh, daily. Uh, let me take out these lines. Looks like we got a nice three bar pattern if we can close here or if we open up because it's already closed for the day. It's a daily chart. So this candle has closed. Um, looks like a little uh, a morning star three bar pattern. Uh, see if we can get a close. Always a close above previous highs. That that ultimate 1772 previous high would be awesome close for the week. So let's see how we're doing. Pretty big bounce. So let's see if we can keep going on this. Um, it hasn't touched the EMA yet, EMA 8 yet on a weekly, but um, it doesn't have to. Um, if it doesn't touch and it wants to move higher, then it's I call that double uh, bullish. So it, miss, it missed its natural course and um, wants to be more bullish than just coming down into support. 
or it could be just a delay where this is the bullish bounce and then next week we do the same thing and then find the support as the EMA moves up. Um, so again, it's important to see how we close out the week. Uh, but shorter term, I'm going to be watching this thing. Um, you can see already the breakdown, bearish retracement, and then it wanted to just all the way across. See if this will hold. We got support on a 15 minute. See if it'll hold. See if we can move higher. That tough. This high over here is where we want to close for the week. So. Pretty volatile. Can't really speak for the uh, three o'clock hour when they manipulate everything and then open it up and everything gaps and so we'll just have to see um, but that's a, a good good bouncing three bar pattern um, on the daily so yeah anyways that's a, a three bar reversal pattern right there see if we can continue we need to close the week a um, little bit higher than the um, than the pattern. So let's get above the previous high uh, next couple days. But um, nice bounces, um, pretty fun to watch. Uh, GDX, same thing. Uh, one thing I want on GDX, uh, I want to point it out a, a bounce that is doing on five hour you can see it plain plain as day is the w okay um that's pretty bullish if if it can keep keep going we need to break previous highs to make this uh, pattern confirmed but um you got a, a a double bottom w pattern breaking previous flat top break at 30 or 38 and see if we can move higher on this I mean that's a definitely bullish pattern right there uh, can't guarantee anything it has to close above uh, the previous high uh, so that this previous high can act as support as it wants to move higher and break uh, ultimate highs so just wanted to point that out um, very volatile, um, definitely bullish bounces. Uh, they take it down and bounce it all the way back up. Pretty nice. Um, depending on how we close out the week, that looks like from indications of a shorter term, the W pattern on the five hour, the weekly, that um, I'm just going to say that's a, a bullish hammer right over the support. Both of them. Um, this could have been a hanging man, but it never it never broke down. Um, it, it made a double bottom, and now it's another hanging man. But in a bullish situation, um, that's a hammer right off support. So I could be wrong. Um, this thing could just fall apart tomorrow morning, and I would be um, wrong. But it has to break down. It hasn't broke down. It's above support. Um, that is one hell of a bounce making that candle so far this week. Um, and that's the same thing. I mean, these are great bounces. These are bullish bounces. We're definitely closing up uh, above previous highs. Um, above 50% of this candle keeping us in bullish territory for the past two weeks on this uh, retracement. Uh, consolidation retracement. Um, initially, this was a, a definitely um, bearish piercing all the way down and then closed all the way up, um, just negating any bullishness from that top. Um, as long as that W pattern keeps going the way it does, breaks previous highs, acting as support, I think we have a good chance uh, to keep moving higher on this. Um, also, we have a down um, 
lower highs. So we got we got a lot to contend with still, lots of resistance on the way up. But um, that's a, a bullish W, right over support, right over the 34. The 8 and the 13 never crossed. Uh, and now it wants, on this 5-hour, it just wants to keep going, it looks like. Um, it bounced into resistance, came back into support, and bounced again. Uh, let's break a previous high, use that as support, do another bullish retracement, and, and take a run for it. See what happens. But it looks good. This is the uh, juniors. Sorry, I said GDX earlier. But here's the GDX. Same exact thing. Um, again, let's look at the um, the badass candles. These aren't reversal bars until they break down. They have to confirm. And it looked like it would. Um, but... Um, these things are, are so resilient. Um, it's just the bullish bounce came all the way back up from where it started. I could be wrong. We could use the next couple days and close down on our lows. We'll see. But any indication as far as the short term, let's go to the 60 minute. Um, you can see, look at there, 60 minute hammer right over the 34. Bullish retracement. Anyone see that? It'd be nice. Um, we're working it right there. That that would have been pretty cool. So it broke across the 34, came all the way back down, made a hammer, and continued. Uh, hopefully this hammer will continue on and break the 25 on GDX. Twenty-five fifty. But again, we got a lot of work to do. Uh, nothing's confirmed yet on the downside. These are bullish bounces, bullish retracements. Let's see what happens. Um, that's all I got today. Um, sorry I didn't do a video yesterday. It just got home way too late, and I was way tired, and I didn't um, think I could have done any good. So um, <clears throat> probably would have made a lot of mistakes. I was that tired. Um but uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please share, comment, and let me know what's going on out there. And I appreciate all the new subscribers. Um, all I'm doing is using uh, th three uh, EMAs. Actually, uh, EMA 8, EMA 13, and an SMA 34 over long-term charts using candlesticks as reversals. Um, taking care of business. Just the uh, movement, of the price action across the 34, back and forth, back and forth, using uh, EMA 8 and the EMA 13 as um, previous highs, previous lows, and support and resistance lines. Um, and the ultimate trend is my 34. So you can see the trend on this. The 34 is meandering, but it is direction is up. Um, so I also use price patterns, uh, the W there, uh, reverse head and shoulders. Uh, look at that candle right over the 34. Closed right above. Next day it gapped. Um, these things happen on it. There's a hammer right over the 8. Uh, there's a hanging man after the extension. Um, came into support. And then it broke down. And then you got this candle that went all the way up and closed all the way down, making our um, bearish falling star broke below. And you just take a ride. <clears throat> just uh, simple things. Uh, I, if I was going to use some indicators, I use uh, vol volume and uh, on, on balance volume. But the, basically the only two that you would uh, probably need. Other than that, <clears throat> uh, you can use momentum indicators, but um, reversal bars are so much more accurate. You get um, signals so much earlier. Um, pretty much the chart is telling the story, and if you can read it, you can play the game. Um, that's how I was trained. Um, if you hear it in the news, <clears throat> you're already too late. I mean, 
um, stories need to come out much faster uh, than candlesticks. <clears throat> candlesticks only take a few bars at the most to uh, signal reversals, uh, whereas a story might take a month. Um, so if you hear it in the news, you're probably too late. And once you jump in, you'll be chasing it. Um, what I'm doing is finding the bottoms from crossing the 34, just like this bottom right here, uh, crossing the 34, bullish retrace back into support, and then you, you see this reversal ca candle signaling any pr previous high breaks on that candle, you just take a ride. Um, so that's all I'm doing. Thanks for watching, and I uh, appreciate uh, all your donations, comments, and please share and like. See you guys.